friends, I miss you all so much, especially my small friends. And so I wanted to come tell you a little story that makes me think a lot about the way that we spend our time now. So this story is called How to Paint the Portrait of a Bird. Let's find out how that happens. Oh, someone is sleeping. I wonder if it's nighttime or if it's time to get up. Look! Looks like a bird has come to wake them up. Wonder what we're going to do with our friend the bird. Let's get ready. First, paint a cage with an open door. Oh, there it is. We've made ourselves a cage. Then, in the cage, paint something for the bird. Something useful and beautiful, but simple. Oh look, we've made some place for the bird to land. And it looks like, like we put out some snacks too. I wonder, do any of you have bird feeders at home? Then, take the picture to a garden. Oh, that's an interesting thing to do. Or a park. Mm, I don't know about that right now. Or a forest. Oh, we're going so far. Put the picture under a tree. Hide behind the tree. Don't speak. Don't move. Be very still. Sometimes the bird comes quickly, but it can just as well take years before deciding. That's a really long time. Some days it feels like it's been years since we've been together. If the bird doesn't come right away, don't be discouraged. Wait. Oh, look how patient they're being. Through the storm and through the winter. Wait years if necessary. Oh my, our boy turned it into an old man. It doesn't mean that your picture won't be good. Oh. When the bird comes, if it comes, Remain absolutely silent. Oh, look how still. The bird is coming. Wait till the bird enters the cage. Then gently close the door with your brush. Oh, so quiet. Then erase the cage one bar at a time being very careful of the bird's feathers. Oh, I don't want to erase any of the bird. Now, paint the portrait of the tree with the prettiest branch for the bird. We want the bird to have someplace nice to live. Paint the green leaves and the summer breeze. Paint the smell of the sunshine and the flowers and the songs of the bees and the butterflies. Then wait for the bird to sing. If it doesn't sing, don't be sad. You did your best. But if the bird sings, it's a very good sign. It's a sign that you can sign. So then, very gently, take a feather from the bird and write your name in a corner of the picture. Oh, look, our author has signed the picture. Oh, looks like we're carrying it away. Oh, we brought it home and hung it in our house. But look, there goes the bird. Tomorrow, you can paint another one. Hmm. I really like that story. But you know, 
Sometimes lately, I feel like I'm that bird in a cage. I wonder if you ever feel that way. And I wonder, if you feel like a bird in a cage, where might you go? Or where might you imagine that you go? I wonder where your happy place is. I wonder if maybe you sing a song in your happy place or as you go about your day. Sometimes I sing a song when I want to think about all of you because I love when we sing together. I wonder if you've been hearing the birds come back. I've been hearing the birds a lot. Sometimes I know that there are a lot of birds singing outside because the cats run to the windows to go see them. They really like the birds too. Now, I wonder if you ever feel like the boy in the story, waiting and waiting and waiting. Seems like we wait a lot. Waiting to see our friends, waiting to go outside, waiting for just about everything. It's really hard. There's a lot of work to wait. But sometimes we have to wait. Sometimes we wait to get ready. We've talked about this when we waited and traveled with the wise men. We wait all the time. We wait and we wait and we wait. But it helps us get ready for something new. I hope when we all come back together, we'll be ready to make something new and exciting. Maybe it will be our own picture of a bird. And maybe that bird will fly away and we'll do it again and again and again. I can't wait to sing songs and tell stories and do it all again with you, my friends. I miss you and I hope you are all safe and I hope you are all singing songs and listening to the birds.